How's everyone doing tonight? So, I thought I was going to do a serious forum, but I think it's the winter, so I'll do something funny. Uh, just to explain the full-time optimist, uh, so two years ago I had like a very big spiritual awakening, and I realized that inside all of us is this shiny soul, and you know, people throughout history use every word to say it, and I think it's a full-time optimist, and that's not just me, that's all of us, it's an attitude or a state of mind, so you can join me anytime. So, the poem for you guys today is called The War of the Thieves. So, it's set in a beautiful restaurant that you probably didn't want to be in because it was pretty messy. So, there once was a war against juice, celery and baba ganoush, pellets of pepper and garlic grenades that called it the War of the Thieves. He warned if you don't want to move, spaghetti and meatballs especially rude. A ball in each eye, a handful of pasta, I'm afraid of the sacks, oh what a disaster. Such was the war of the foods. I speak to eye sweetly soothes. Revenge in the air and it brews. You hold back the tears using pickles for spears and thus enter the war of the foods. Carrots and cannons and bombs filled with basil were spread on the wall and all of the table. Get a hold of your section, the waiters unable, after knocked to their face by a plate full of sable. Good God, are you mad? You're causing a scene. You're the craziest couple that I've ever seen. Sir, you're preposterous. You're like a rhinoceros. Behave or we'll ask you to leave. <laughs> oh, yes, we'll behave. No one got hurt. I'll dry clean your linens, his shirt, and your skirt. But a question for you. What's for dessert? And thus ended the war of the foods. <laughs> 